I want to tell you a story. When I was a junior, in my junior year, actually senior year, I had just returned from the Royal National Theatre in London. I'd studied at the Royal National Theatre acting program, which was sponsored by uh, Anthony Hopkins. Uh, Ian, I had lunch with uh, Ian McKellen. I talked extensively to Alan Rickman, who were both master classes of mine. Anthony Hopkins was filming, so he couldn't be there. Um, Michael Joyce, who taught me the most invaluable phrase in my life, to say the word is to invoke that thing into being, was, my, was a teacher of mine too. He had played in the first all-male production of As You Like It and traveled all around the world. The Royal National, at the, uh, Anyway, when I came back, I was very excited. And I couldn't understand why we didn't have professional theater in Tallahassee. I mean, we had a great school, school of theater. We had everything, you know. We had great mentors. Joe Papp was a chair. I mean, all of this stuff. But we had no professional theater in Tallahassee. So I was like, you know, I did some research. And it, it turned out that Joe Papp's 40th anniversary was coming up. This was 1994. And it was 1996 was his 40th anniversary, and um, and he was a chair and everything. And I was like, and I was like, why don't we put on a Shakespeare? I was just like, why don't we just put on a Shakespeare festival? We'll bring over actors from England, and we've got the talent here. We'll do master classes, and we'll do it. You know. Um. I thought, you know, it's a no-brainer. Why don't we do it? So I thought, who is the best person to talk to? And I, and I thought, well, the school, the dean of the School of Theater, Lazier, Dean Lazier, who's just a powerhouse fundraiser, raised millions for the School of Theater. And I was, you know, I was sure he, he would jump all over it. So I remember my meeting with him. It was in the hallway. He didn't even, you know, I, I caught him. I was like, you know, Dean Lazier, I really have an idea I'd like to talk to you about. And um, I told him my idea. Why don't we do three Shakespeare? And, he, and, he, and, and Dean Lazier would do this kind of laugh, jeer, and, and kind of look away. And, and it's like, you know, I get ten of these ideas a day. And, you know, you need more. you got to bring me proposals and bring this and, and do this and, you know, but, you know, it, it's, it takes a lot of work to produce something like that. And this, you know, and, and, you know, basically what he was saying is, who are you to even suggest such a thing? And you can't do it. And in a way, he was like, you know, in hindsight, looking back, I just felt like I was a little puppy jumping around. And he was like, mm, I don't want to put you in my lap because you're going to pee on me. Really? Well, I didn't give up hope. I was shattered away because I, I I was so sure. I was so positive about this idea. I was so sure that it would work. And um, but I went to someone else. I went to Dick Fallon, and he was the former dean of the school and founded the Oslo, and had done so much for the school. And short story, you know, short story. He um, he said to me, Michael. I spent with him, I told him my little spiel, and it was like a moment of silence, silence like you could cut, cut the air. And he goes, Michael? And I'm like, oh, God, he's going to turn me down. That's a, that's a brilliant idea. That's a wonderful idea. For 20 years, I've been struggling with how to bring the community together, how he would talk. And, and he says, by Job, you... That's it. This is this is it. This is wonderful, and you can do it. And I'll be here for you, but you're going to do the walking and the talking. And I had no idea what that meant, and I was like, just yeah, sure, I'll do whatever. I was like jumping on. I was elated, and I'll always remember that meeting. And um, the festival happened. I did a touring. I put together a touring group to try to, you know, figure out what I was doing. 
uh, I got I was able to get on a, a good I mean I, I recruited people really much for free people came on board all over to, to back this idea and and with Dean Fallon's help I was able to get some of the right board members and um, and and the idea went from just a just just um, an idea to reality and 30,000 people came to this event and Dean Lazier never acknowledged it and never talked to me and I'm not sure if he ever came to the festival or maybe he did come but he never said Mike well done you did it you know I'm the sort of guy I'm not, I am not a guy who sits down and writes a business plan and does all this methodical work. If I believe in something, I do it. And I find a way to do it. You know, I leave the writing and the other stuff up to other people. You know, I even have this chamber on, on Google called Trout's Den of Dyslexic Maneuvers. Because, you know, I try to fix up my writing and stuff, but, you know, I just do it. Say the word is to invoke that thing into being. And and every meeting I have, especially like I have one coming up with InnoSight, it's scary. Because I've already had this scary meeting before where a person that I thought was perfect for it ended up turning turning me down. But but the reason why I'm sharing this is because ultimately they didn't matter. So I'm wondering if the InnoSight folks are going to be Dean Lazier's or Richard Fallon.